Hi, hi. Ok, Germán, muy bien. Mucho cuidado, Germán. Ok, how are you today? Hi, hi. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Nice to see you. How was your day today? Fine, fine, fine. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Herman. I uh, see you driving, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank Me you. conecto ya formalmente cuando esté en Ilopango ahorita. Voy saliendo de aquí del escalón. Wow. A ver si no llega cuando vayamos terminando. Ok, bueno. <laughs> A ver cómo está el tráfico, ¿verdad? Voy Por ser pendiente. viernes, Dios quiera que no muy pesado. Sí, sí. voy a estar pendiente ahí del, del presente ahorita. Ok, ok, perfecto. Ronald, you're working, Ronald, too. Bueno, let's see, I'm going to call you, so you tell me present. Here we go. Nice. Bella Lisette. No, Lisbeth. Bella Lisette. Present. Carlos. Yes. Excellent. Carlos Roberto. Carlos Roberto. No, here, Carlos Roberto. Carlos Roberto Darling Darling Jasmine Darling. Las ocho. Las ocho. Darling, darling. Darling. We are darling. Why not? Denis Sadonai, Denis Denis, Denis, I I. Okay, if you're here, tell me present, right? Uh -huh. Edgar Eduardo, ¿cómo está ese micrófono, Edgar? No funciona. Oh, todavía falla. Ok. Gabriela Stephanie. Present. Ok. Germán Agustín. Present teacher. Jessica Raquel. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Carla María. Present. Kelly Marcela. Kelly Marcela. Marcelo Vladimir Marcelo Mauricio Giovanni Miguel Efraín Present En Mauricio o Marcelo <ríe> Se me dijo ah, Miguel Present me dijo ¿verdad? ¿Quién fue el otro? Present. Mauricio. Mauricio, oh, ok. Moisés Elías. Present teacher. Norma Marisa. Present teacher. Pedro. In traffic. 
In traffic. Okay. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Pedro. Ronald Swing. Ronald Ronald. Sabrina Lisette. Sabrina. Present. Present teacher. Okay. Great. Tamara. Tamara. Waldemar Alexander. Walter Antonio. Bueno. How was your day today? How was your day? Hard day, teacher. <laughs> Hard day. Hard day. Oh. It's Friday. Maybe that's the reason. Yes, teacher. Fridays are, I don't know, it's like you have to finish all the things that you didn't finish during the rest of the week, right? So it makes it a little bit more complicated. Good that you're here. And uh, tomorrow is Saturday. That's the best day. That's the best thing, right? Bueno. Today I have uh, two tongue twisters for you to have fun, for you to de-stress, and to get a little bit distracted, right? Today this is our session number 18, right? I'm going to chair our session number And we are going to learn today how to use gerunds. We're going to see uh, when we use gerunds, when we use infinitives, and also different uh, uh, different cases in which you have to use um, a gerund or an infinitive. Vamos a ver el enlace. Están pidiendo quién. Ali, Kelly. Dime. Okay. Well, how to use gerunds? You will see uh, the spelling for gerunds and different uses that we have for gerunds. Mm -hmm. That's what you're going to have today. Ooh, well, now check. The objective participants will be able to finish a conversation using gerunds in, in different forms, correctly, and in pairs, right? So we're going to study or go to finish a conversation using gerunds in different forms. Now, let's see. I have for you two tongue twisters. This is the first one. And we're going to practice right now the, 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 the tongue twister. And then I would like to listen to you saying it. Who will be my volunteers? Let's see, I'm going to say it for you. So you check the pronunciation and then uh, I'm going to listen to you. So we have Piper, check. Piper, Piper, picked, picked, pick. Pickle, pickle, pepper, peppers. Piper, repeat, Piper. Picked, 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 pick, pick, pickled, 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 peppers, 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 pick, pickled, peppers, picked, picked, piper, 
So you say, now check. Those are all the words you need to know. Peter, Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, right? Piper picked peck pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Right. That's that's the tongue twister. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to speak, for you to read it, for you to practice, right? A little bit on your own. And then I will listen to volunteers to the chair. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Okay. Peter Piper. Yeah. Peter Piper. Uh, Peter Piper picks a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of a peck a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picks. If Peter Piper picks a peck of pickled peppers. Where's the pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked? Okay. Okay. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Who will be my next volunteer? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Ha, 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 ha. Will be my next volunteer. I know oh. there are more volunteers. Aha, uh -huh, says, would you like to try? Okay, sir. Um, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peppers. A peck of pickled pepper. Peter Peter Piper pickled. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pepper, where's the peck of pickle pepper, Peter? Pepper pickle? <laughs> picked. Uh, picked. Where, where is the peck of pickle peppers, Peter Piper picked? Siento como chilosa la lengua, teacher. But that is for your tongue to get around. Right, no? Pero se llama traba lengua, right? Traba la lengua. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, who will be my next volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Marcelo. Vamos a ver. Este, Peter Piper picked a pick of the piglet peepers, a pick of the piglet. Peppers, Peter, Peter, Picket, is the pe Peter, Peter, Picket of the pick, pardon, of the piglet, Peppers, where the pick of the piglet, Peppers, Peter, Peter, Picket. Peter Piper Picket. Yeah, where is the pick of the Peppers? Peter Piper Picket. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. 
Let's see. One more volunteer. Huh? One more volunteer. Who? 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 Who's my volunteer? Who will be my volunteer? One more. Aha, uh -huh, Miguel, would you like to try or you want to try the next one? Uh, no, I, <laughs> I want to try it. Teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Peter, Peter, chicken, a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter, Peter, picket. If Peter, Peter, picket, a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers, Peter, 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 picket? Yes. Excellent. So you see, you, here you put into practice uh, the pronunciation of the regular verbs. Remember, picked, that when the verb finishes in K, you pronounce it like t. Yeah. So you said picked. Pirotype pirot picked. Okay, great. I have one more. Let's see who wants to try this one. There was a fisherman named Fisher who fished for some fish in a fisher till a fish with a green pulled the fisherman in. Now they are fishing the fish for fish, right? So we have fisherman, fisherman, fisher, fished, right? Fished, again, pronunciation, fished, fish, fisher, Till fish green pulled, yeah, pronunciation d, pulled fisherman. <coughs> Sorry. Fishing, fisher, fisher, right? Fisherman, fisher, fished, fish. Fisher, teal, fish, green, pulled, fisherman, fishing, fisher, and fisher. Right? There was a fisherman named Fisher who fished for some fish in a fisher. Till a fish with a green pulled the fisherman in. Now they are fishing the fisher for fishing. Who wants to try this one? Well, read it. Read it first, and then, and then you tell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Sí, teacher, ahorita voy a intentarlo. De primero voy a tirarme al chat. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, there was a fisherman named Fishers who fished for some fish in the fishers, till a fish with a green put, put the fisherman in the now uh, they, uh, they are fish in the fisher fishing. for fisher. Exactly, they are fishing the fisher for fisher. Okay, nice, nice. Huh. Who else would like to try? Hmm? Me teacher. Okay. There was a fisherman named Fisher who fished for for some fish in a fisher, till a fish with a green pulled the fisherman in. Now they're fishing 
a fisher for fisher. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, who will be the next one? Who will be the next one? Hmm? A ver, Ronald, would you like to try? Huh? Kelly, Kelly. Ay, Kelly está en fiesta hoy, ¿verdad, Kelly? A ver, Bella, Bella, Bella. Who will be my volunteer? Volunteer, volunteer. No more. This is easier. Waldemar, hello. Huh? No more. Okay. Bueno, let's move them. Today, uh, as I told you, we are going to talk about gerunds. Right, gerunds? Different uses of gerunds. Remember the how to use gerunds. That's what we're studying, right? How to use gerunds. And we're going to begin with a conversation where you're going to practice that you're going to practice later. Okay, it says the cells, you repeat after me. The cells were not so good this month, therefore increasing our cells is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? I'm sure, first analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each thing. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials so we save some money or more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. <clears throat> okay, one more time. The sales were not so good this month. Therefore, Increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials, so we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Okay, vamos a ver. You repeat after me. The sales were not so good this month. The sales, sales were, were not, not so good this month. Good this month. Therefore, 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 increasing our sales is our target is increasing our sales is our target this month do you have any idea about what to do do you have, do you have any idea about, idea about what, what to do sure sure First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. First, analyze and keeping track and out incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials. So we have more money. So we, so save, we money. save more money. So we save more money. So we save more money. However, 
I prefer oh. getting a bank loan for that. However, oh, I prefer <laughs> getting a bank loan a bank for bank that. Loan. But I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I but I know that we can, we can pay it pay with the incomes we get. With the incomes we get. Incomes. Incomes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. I'm concerned, I'm concerned about, about asking for money, but let's, but let's try it out. Let's try it out. Okay? Try right. out. Let's try it out. Excellent. Any questions here about vocabulary or pronunciation? What is the meaning of this word? Hmm? What's the meaning of therefore? Therefore. therefore. Therefore, what significa? What significa therefore? Por lo tanto, incrementando nuestras ventas. Así dice, ¿verdad, Ticha? Exacto. Exacto. Por lo tanto, what is the meaning of however? However. Sin, sin embargo. Sin embargo. Exacto. ¿Qué significa mandatory? Obligatoriamente. Obligatorio, right? Obligatorio. Concern. When usted dice, I'm concerned about asking for money. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa concern? ¿Qué significa concern? ¿Desconcertado? No es. Es como preocupado. Ah, preocupado. Uh -huh. okay. ok, vamos a ver. Bueno, well, income, you know what the mean, right? What do they refer to when they say... Um, Increasing our sales is our target. What is the meaning of our target? What is the meaning? Hmm. Eh, nuestra meta es aumentar las la ventas este mes. Ajá, nuestra meta, nuestro objetivo, right? Nuestro objetivo. right. Excellent. What is track? When you say keeping track, what is the meaning? Keeping track? What's the meaning of keeping track? Como hacer una, un tipo, como seguimiento, teacher. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Mm -hmm. sí, llevar un, un seguimiento, un control, digamos, un recto. Mm -hmm. okay. Excellent. ¿Qué significa rumatevis? Materia prima. La materia prima, exacto. exacto. 
raw, cuando usted mira la palabra raw solita, eso es crudo, ¿verdad? Pero si ve raw materials, cabal, es materia aquí. A ver, any other question? No, ¿verdad? Estamos bien, y de buscar. Ok, bye. I'm going to do something. As you know, we are recording in the in the in the cloud, right? For security. Para no perdernos otra vez que de repente el video da problema. Entonces se está grabando. No. Los okay. eh, los voy a mandar. Yo sé que ustedes extrañan los grupos chiquitos. Pero los voy a mandar. Tell me quién dijo teacher. Yo muy. Ah, hi, sis. Tell me. Comentar, hoy recibí una llamada de Rebeca y sí. me dijo que lunes y martes estaríamos en clases. Exacto. Eso, eso, fíjese que eso les comentaba yo ayer, pero creo que muy temprano lo dije y no estaban todos. La situación es esta. Lunes y martes de esta semana, Zoom se puso algo loco y me enchivoló mi compu. Entonces, a la hora de convertirse el video, no se convirtió. El lunes llegó hasta el 28% y no terminó de convertirse. Y el martes, según nosotros, porque entraron de inglés corporativo a revisar y a ver todo y la compuesta va bien. Y decía ahí que era un problema de internet, es el error que tiene, <coughs> según eh, Zoom, ¿verdad? Pero eh, si fuera un problema de internet, se cortara la llamada que tenemos ahorita. No tendría que ser a la hora de convertirse el video, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí está, que se rescató solamente el lunes 34 minutos de la clase. Nada más. Eso fue todo lo que se, 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 se reconoció. Lo demás no avanzó la conversión y no se logró hacer, ¿verdad? Y el martes... Se supone que ya estaba corregida la situación, pero el martes Zoom volvió a dar el mismo problema y entonces salió peor porque la conversión llegó hasta el 9%. Eh, no se salvó prácticamente nada. ¿verdad? Entonces ahí lo que corresponde es eh, reponer las clases como que si no las hubiera dado, ¿verdad? Porque con Insaform, si no hay video de la clase... No hubo clase, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, si se fijaron, antier y ayer, yo retomé los dos temas que ya había dado. Lo que hice fue cambiar completamente el lesson para que ustedes no sintieran que eso ya lo hice. <ríe> Ese ejercicio ya lo hice. Entonces fue darle eh, vuelta, digamos, a los lesson, cambiar la la historia, ¿verdad? Para que no sintieran ustedes que estaban justamente repitiendo el, el mismo tema, sino que eh, les presente el tema de otra manera. Entonces, ya hoy sí, ya vamos retomando. Esta es la clase que correspondía para el miércoles, que se empezó a reponer hoy el lunes. La, la que vamos a dar el lunes sería la clase 19 y la del martes sería la clase 20. Entonces, eso significa que la encuesta a nosotros no nos tocaría pasarla hoy, sino que pasarla hasta el lunes, ¿verdad? Porque ese sería nuestro, nuestro día final, porque va como, digamos, compaginada la asistencia a la clase con el video y, y, y eso, ¿verdad? La ventaja es que así ya no van a sentir tan larga la vacación de clase, ¿verdad? <risa> que los dejo solitos por tanto tiempo. Y, y lo otro es que tienen el fin de semana para terminar plataforma, ¿verdad? Entonces, veámoslo por, el, por ese lado, ¿verdad? Por el lado más. Entonces, eh, van a tener, si no han terminado algo en plataforma, tienen el fin de semana para lograr ponerse al día. Okay. En el tunco lo va a terminar. ¿Verdad? <risa> Eso. <risa> Qué dicha. Pues entre, entre el agua, ¿verdad? Senta en una piedra con el centro. Pues sí. Pues sí. Por lo pues menos sí. en un guacal. Así, sí. 
Eso, pues sí, con guacalito. Con una mano en el cell phone y con la otra en el guacalito. O en la tabla de surf, ¿verdad? Así es que, este, ¿verdad? Y yo, yo me excuso por culpa de Zoom y de mi compu que hicieron esa locura, ¿verdad? Así es que pues, nunca me había pasado con inglés corporativo reponer una clase así porque no se convirtiera video, pero bueno, los nunca llegan y esta vez se repitieron, ¿verdad? Así es que, bueno. Ya casi, casi llego dando clases el día de mi cumpleaños en esa fecha. Solo trabajé en el 2020 en esa fecha. Yo no mmm, trabajo, <risa> <risa> pero hoy casi, 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 casi. Así es que bueno, ahí está. ¿Cuál es tu día de hoy, On the 20. ¿Cuál es tu día On the 20. 20. 20. Yeah, one day before I will be working. Okay. <laughs> the next, the next Wednesday. <laughs> next Wednesday. Yeah. Go. Okay. Sí, no. Yeah. Lo que pasa, teacher, ahí en ese caso que, este, bueno, el 20 de cumpleaños, pues, por lo menos vamos uh -huh. a, vamos a partir el pastel virtual el 19. Exactly. Porque... Exactly. Uh -huh. sí. <laughs> Todavía, todavía no había nacido, pero lo vamos a partir, por, por lo menos virtual. Pues sí, pues sí, exacto, sí, hombre. Y en, en el 2020 sí tocó porque por lo mismo retraso de la culpable de la pandemia, ¿verdad? Que sí. Sí, sí. Y allí no, generalmente ya es altura ideal. Vacation, y ahí ya no se trabaja, pero ahorita no, ¿verdad? Ni sí. Casi, casi llegamos cerca. Bueno, I'm going to, quiero ver, aquí están los breakout rooms. I'm going to send you manually. I'm, let's see. I'm going to make only, you are 20. I'm going to make two groups, right? I'm going to make two groups. I'm going to keep a one group of people here. So you will be practicing here and the others will move to the, to the room. So then, we go there. Right. And then we do number one. And let's see this room number two. Bye. I stop. Bueno, let's see. Los que no mandé a ningún grupo, you will practice here. Carla, Marcelo, Mauricio, Miguel, Moisés. No hay I check the ones that can move to the room. You can go. Nice. Practice the conversation and then we come back. Mm -hmm. okay. Vaya, the ones that are here, you can start practicing. I'm going to share the, the screen. So you can start practicing the conversation. Go ahead. Who will be my first volunteers? Uh, me, teacher. Okay, Miguel N. Moises. And Moises, vaya. Okay, I am okay, first. The sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes up to 
mandatory on each cell. Yeah. That's a good idea. 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 Also, I'm interested in buying and buying raw materials. So we sell more money. However, however, I prefer getting a bank loan for that. But I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I am concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Okay. Excellent. Money, money teacher. Uh, money. 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 Idea. 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 Okay. Idea. But how do you say whoever? However, however, however. <clears throat> como cuando usted dice how, how, how however, how, however, 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 y esta therefore, therefore, la e muda, therefore, 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 Vaya, two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Marcelo and Carla. Marcelo. Okay, teacher. Okay. Y Carlita, no sé si Carlita está por allí. Carlita. Mm -hmm. Norma is driving. A ver, who wants to read with Marcelo? Oye. ¿Quién quiere leer con Marcelo? Okay. Que Marcelo no ten, tenga compañerito. Hey, me teacher. Hey, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I am Hugo. Mm -hmm. Okay. The sailors were not so good this month. Therefore, in crazy or sailors is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Pardon, I idea about what to do. Sure, personalizing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each cell. That's good idea. Also, I am interested in bio raw material materials. Mm -hmm. Just teacher pronunciation of material. I material materials materials materials. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. save more money. Money. So money. 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 Mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. However, I prefer giving a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the income we get. I concept I con I concerned about a sky for money money, but let's free it out. No sé. mm -hmm. Hey, very good. Let's try it out. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Bueno, let's bring everybody. Mm -hmm. One minute, everybody will be back. And we are going to practice. Well, we will listen to the others and do this exercise based on the conversation, right? Nice. Almost coming. Eighteen seconds. 
So like that, you don't miss you, the groups too much, right? You can do a little practice there. Um, two seconds, one. Great. Everybody back. Now, I want volunteers. Jessica. <laughs> Okay, volunteers. Jessica and who? Who will be my volunteer to read with Jessica? Uh -huh. Who will be my volunteer? Jessica and Kelly. Tal vez antes de que se ponga a bailar, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. ¿Dónde está? Ya se nos perdió. Jessica ya se fue, Kelly ya se fue a bailar. Ok, entonces con Edgar no le funcionan los audífonos. Vamos a ver. Con Waldemar entonces. Ok. Vaya, Waldemar. Ready. Ok, usted comienza hoy. Ok. The shells were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing your shells. Is your target this month? Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each shell. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in budging raw materials so we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the comes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Thank you. Excellent, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let's go do the exercise check. No. Okay, so what is their objective this month? There is an error here. Should be their. Make the correction in your book. What is their objective this month? What are some steps they want to follow? And what is one of them worried about? See, remember, concern. Concern is worry. So one of them is worried. But what is he worried about? Okay. <clears throat> Let's uh, read the conversation again if necessary, and then you answer the three questions. And we will check together. Hmm? The number one is increasing the sales. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. That's their objective, right? Increasing yes. their sales. Mm -hmm. What are some steps? What are some steps they want to follow? Let's see. Analyzing and keeping track of the incomes and outcomes. <laughs> yes. 
Is there another? Well, let's keep that, right? Analyzing. Oh, we got a case to be a little low. And keeping track. Or what? On the incomes and outcomes. The part I know that we can play in bits. Is there a, a raw material? Uh huh, exactly. Exactly. Let's see. So we have by, new, by raw material. Mm -hmm. I need one. <laughs> oh, so, so. Buying raw materials. Okay. Raw. Uh -huh. What else? And he wants to buy raw materials to save more money, but the others say, no, I prefer getting a bank loan. The, if you get a bank loan, you have to pay it, right? So that's not saving. Mm -hmm. But, so those are the steps. Now, what is one of them worried about? What is one of them worried about? He's worried about? He's worried about asking for money. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He's worried about, oops. About asking for money. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay. Nice, right? He's worried about asking for money. I want you to see. We're talking about gerunds, right? Check. And when we say increasing ourselves is our target, this increasing is a noun, but it's not a verb. No siempre que vean un ing significa que es el, el verbo con present continuous. No, okay? No, and especially, you will see increasing ourselves when we have the the verb in ing or well they work with ing at the beginning of the sentence ahí está actuando ese gerund está actuando como un noun no está actuando como verbo igual acá analyzing and keeping track también está actuando como un noun en esta otra y ya lo vamos a ver todo más en detalle right in this part Cuando usted dice, I prefer getting, aquí estamos hablando de una oración con dos verbos, en la cual el segundo verbo tiene que ir en ing, ¿verdad? Ya vamos a hablar también de eso. Hay verbos que son seguidos por un infinitive y hay otros verbos que son seguidos por un gerund. En este caso... Prefer es un verbo seguido por gerund. Cuando usted dice, por ejemplo, I enjoy playing soccer. I enjoy playing. No puede decir I enjoy to play. Ya vamos a ver eso también, más en detalle. Otra cosa, ahorita solo quiero llamarles la atención hacia, hacia cada uno de los casos. Cuando yo tengo una preposición, 
Después de prepositions, yo ocupo ing. I'm interested in buying. Mira. In, aquí está la preposición. I'm interested in buying. In is a preposition. About is a preposition. Y después de una preposición, yo ocupo el verbo en ing. Eso es siempre. Siempre. Usted no me puede decir, I am interested in to buy. Mm -mm. Tiene que usar un ing, ¿verdad? El verbo en gerund, porque acá tiene una preposición. Lo mismo pasa acá. I'm concerned about asking. I'm, con, I'm concerned about eh, buying. I'm concerned about spending. Entonces, el verbo, después de la preposición, siempre va a ir con gel. Okay. Now I want you to see this. Si tienen dudas, si tienen preguntas, me dicen, oye, no me vayan a dejar ir muy lejos y me digan un ficha, saber qué fue todo lo que dijo. <ríe> oye, así que si tienen dudas, me preguntan. A ver. Uh, vamos a empezar, y aquí eh, me van a perdonar, pero les voy a ir hablando por mucho rato en Spanish, porque sé que es un tema un poquito complicado, ¿verdad? Y prefiero que les quede bien claro. Vaya, check. Says, the general rule when changing a verb into its ing form is just to add ing, ¿verdad? To the end of the verb. Tenemos el infinitivo, el verbo en forma base, como se le quiera decir. Tengo fill. A ese fill yo le voy a agregar ing y ya lo convertí en gerund. Fill, filling. Go, going. Work, working. Sleep, sleep. Okay. Fill, filling. Go, going. Work, working. Sleep. Sleeping. De acuerdo. Esa es lo más, eh, la forma más común, digamos. La forma más común, que yo le agrego el ING. ¿Verdad? Y ahí puede poner do, do, doing. A la mayoría de los verbos solamente se les agrega el ING. Play. Playing. Ah, enjoy. Enjoying. Esta es la, la forma más común. Ya. Enjoy, enjoying. Entonces, el gerund es el verbo que le termina en ing. Ese es el gerund, ¿verdad? Entonces, ya tengo yo la primera regla. So, le agrego ahí en el verbo y en el verbo. Ahora, next verb. If the verb ends in E, we remove the E and add ING. Por ejemplo, leave. Aquí este, no importa si el verbo es regular o si el verbo es irregular. Oye, aquí eso no importa. Las reglas pegan para cualquiera de, la, de los dos tipos de verbos que usted quiera. Ok, so we have live, le omitimos la E y le agregamos ING. So you have live, living, have, having, make, ¿verdad? Desaparece la E, make, making, take, taking. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Te mi another example? Por ejemplo, have. Ah, no, ya está. Díganme otro, 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 otro. ¿Qué otro verbo se les ocurre que termina en I? Dance. ¿Mm? Dance. Sí. Bailar. Sí. No, bailar. Oh, dance. Sí, dance. 
Hoy mucha gente está bailando, donde yo trabajo en la mañana, ya me mandaron fotos de la danza. Okay. They are celebrating the Christmas party together. Okay, dance, dancing. Eh, ah, ya está. Take. A ver, otro. Que termine en E. Aquí hay un número. Remove. Drive. Ajá. Remove. Like, teacher, like. Muy mm, bien que tocó ese porque le quiero explicar algo al respecto. Remove moving and drive and drive. Hay verbos que no se pueden poner en algún chifón. Y uno de esos es el like. Yo no puedo ocupar en I en like, ni love, ni understand. Have, si se refiere a possession, tampoco. Usted puede decir, I am having fun. ¿Sí? I'm having fun. Hey, where is fulanita? Ah, she's having a baby. Ya está teniendo el bebé. El bebé está naciendo en ese momento, right? She's having a baby. Pero no puede decir, I am having, I am having a cell phone. That's not possible. Cuando usted se refiere a have como possession, no lo puede usar en esta forma. Bueno, y lo mismo pasa con like. Todos los verbos que tienen que ver con eh, qué? With the senses, right? Eh, like, love, understand. Usted no puede decir I am understanding. No, now I understand. Pero no I am understanding. Oh, I am understanding this now. Uh -uh. That's not possible. Igual, I'm liking pizza. Mm. Or you like or you don't like it. But not now, yes, and tomorrow. Okay. So like and love cannot be using this one. Se podrían apegar a esta regla, pero no se pueden ocupar en ahí. Eso dos no se ni understand cuando. Ver otro. If the verb ends in a consonant plus a vowel, plus a consonant, check. Consonant, vowel, consonant. No importa que haya otra consonante antes, no importa. No puede haber otra consonante aquí, como en el caso de watch, ¿verdad? Watch se nos queda acá. Yo digo watch. Mil, uno, dos, tres consonantes, pues no se puede. Watch, watch. ¿Verdad? Watch, watch. Wash, washing. Entonces no se puede. Y si tengo verbos, como en el caso de sweep, pues así yo digo sweep, que es barrer, sweeping, no tiene doble consonante, pero tiene doble vocal. Entonces tampoco puedo doblar la P. ¿Ok? Pues se quedan en esta regla. Ah, no eran aquí. Bueno, no eran aquí, era en el anterior. En el anterior, donde solo se les pone la I. Que no termina ni un escrito. Ni guache. Se van a la, a la regla anterior. Pero lo que quiero yo que vean es que en este caso, si yo tengo dos E, no le puedo doblar la P. Y si tengo tres consonantes al final, tampoco puedo doblar. Cuál voy a doblar, la T, la C o la H, ¿verdad? Entonces, no se puede. Y el caso de play, tampoco, ¿miren? Consonant, vowel, consonant, mm, sí, pero no hay palabras con doble Y. Entonces, tampoco se apega a la vida, se sale, se sale de la vida. no, contable. No, aquí no importa. Aquí no importa eh, porque son verbos, ¿verdad? No son nouns. Los que son contables o uncontables son los nanos. Pero como estos son verbos, aquí no, no hay problema de eso. 
Vale, ahora, remember. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. If I have consonant, double, consonant, vowel, consonant, we double the consonant and then we add ing. That's why you see swimming con double them. Stop, stopping, sit, sitting, plan, planning, get, getting. Y tenemos otro. Dig. Digging, ¿ya? Pues eso pasa con estos verbos, pero usted tiene que tener, eh, estar seguro de que es consonante, vago, consonante, ¿verdad? Any question here? Una question. Ahora. Tenemos otros. If, if a two-syllable verb ends in consonant plus vowel plus consonant, we don't double the consonant. Ahí no hay tales. ¿Verdad? So you have happen, happen. Cuando el estrés cae en la primera sílaba. Happen. You don't say happen. You say happen. Entonces, el estrés... Es la fuerza, no el que sentimos todos los días, no. El estrés es la fuerza de vos que cae en una sílaba en particular. Y en este caso, ha, ha, happen. El estrés cae en ha. Entonces, ¿cómo cae en la primera sílaba? Mm -mm, no da, yo no puedo doblar la consonante, ¿verdad? Begin, ya sabemos que begin es beginning con double N. Pero begin se sale de la regla porque el estrés en begin cae en la segunda sílaba. Yo no digo begin, digo begin. Begin. Pero no me cae el estrés en la primera sílaba, sino en la segunda. Entonces, si el estrés cae en la segunda sílaba cuando yo tengo consonant, vowel consonant, entonces, ¿qué hago? Beginning. Así, ¿verdad? How do you write beginning? Check. Googlelo con double G o double N. Ajá. Double G o double M. ¿Cómo se escribe? Escriba. Double M. Double M, ¿verdad? Yes. ¿Por qué? Porque el estrés cayó en G, begin. No, begin. Si fuera Mama, big, mire, no pudiéramos Mama. doblar la N. Como en el caso de enter. Mire, enter. El estrés está en la N. Enter. Entonces, solo le agregamos a ING. Entering. Happen. Happening. Offer. El estrés está en la O. Offer. Offering. Suffer. 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 De acuerdo. Por eso es que usted ve de repente que hay palabras que tienen una si doble sílaba y porque a esta sí le doblaron la consonante y porque a la otra no. O ya sabe, si el estrés cae en la primera sílaba, no se dobla la consonante. Si el estrés cae en la segunda sílaba, entonces sí se sí. De acuerdo. Any question, Dian? No question. No question. Now, now mm -hmm. we have preposition. Check it. Gerald after preposition. Bueno, pongámosle mm -hmm. qué es lo que va primero. Preposition y después mm -hmm. Gerald. Preposition plus Gerald. And remember what I told you at the beginning. Preposition. 
No importa qué preposición sea, ¿verdad? Las hierro. Eh, ya vamos, eh, ya hoy ya, ya ustedes ya conocen los spellings. Hoy vamos con eh, luz, ¿verdad? De los chernos. Uno de, uno de los usos es este. Eh, she's interested in learning English. Después de preposition, yo voy a ocupar chern. ¿Sí? A tire of traveling the back. He's happy about going out. She had dinner before coming. She went to bed after reading. ¿Sí? Entonces, después de la preposición, yo ocupo ahí. ¿Me pueden dar otro ejemplo? A ver. Alguno que se les ocurra. Yes. ¿Algún ejemplo que se les ocurra? Sí, teacher. Tell me. Um, I prepared my presentation before um, working. Okay, before working. Very good. Thank you. ¿Quién está hablando? Dennis. So I prepared, let me write it here. I prepared. I prepared. I prepared. Before before working, you told me. Sí, verdad. Yes. Okay. I prepare my presentation before working. Very okay. good. Another volunteer. Another example. So you can say I'm worried about I'm worried about ¿Qué? ¿De qué se preocupan ustedes? I'm worried about you don't worry about anything. Yes. I'm worried about about I'm worried about about a ver about making a good job. No, 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 uh -huh. I'm worried about making a good presentation. Sí. Hay, fíjese que hay, eh, hay un grupo de, bueno, ¿cómo le digo? Hay, si se fijan, interested es un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Interested es un adjetivo. So, interested in. Tire of happy about. Okay, a word. Worried about. Hay casos en que usted ocupa una preposición, un adjetivo y una preposición. Y eso, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Esa preposición ya está dada. 
por ejemplo, con worried, usted no puede decir I am worried with, I'm angry with, sí, ¿verdad? I'm happy about, pero no puede decir I am happy of, o I'm tired about, I'm interested on, no puede, no puede cambiar esa preposición porque ya está dada de esa manera, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, ya ese adjetivo va con esa preposición. Ese adjetivo va con es, o esa preposición va con ese adjetivo. ¿Sí? Más adelante ustedes eh, se van a ir acostumbrando a lo sureste. I'm interested in. What are you interested in? I'm interested in learning English. I'm interested in traveling. I'm interested in reading an English book. I'm interested in playing soccer. Right? So, es, siempre va a ir con la preposición in. I'm tired of traveling by bus. I'm, travel I'm tired of walking. I'm tired of washing the dishes. <laughs> right? Que nunca se acaba. I'm happy about going out. I'm happy about mm, going on vacation. I'm happy about traveling next week. ¿Ya? Entonces, es siempre esta preposición va a ir con el sentido. ¿Ok? And, if you use another preposition, como por ejemplo el caso de before and after, que nos dicen eh, el orden de los eventos, she went to bed after reading a book. Primero leyó el libro y después se fue a dormir. ¿eh? So, you're talking about the order of events. Pero independientemente de qué tipo de, de, de preposición es el que esté ocupando, después de una preposición, su verbo va a ir en alguien. ¿Ok? Va a ir con yo. Independientemente de la preposición que ocupe. Si después de la preposición necesita un, un verbo, ese verbo tiene que ir en alguien. No puede decir, she's interested in learning. Mm -hmm. She's interested in to learn. Mm -hmm. Tampoco. It has to be, she's interested in learning. Siempre, después de preposition, you use a gem. Okay? Any questions so far? Any question? Vaya, vamos, pues. Cheque. Uh, here you will see eh, cuáles son los otros usos que tenemos este es el que acabamos de ver verdad I'm interested I'm interested in buying raw material I'm concerned about asking for money talking after preposition gerunds after prepositions Now, after some verbs, en el caso que leíamos, I prefer getting a, long, a bank loan. Un préstamo bancario, right? I prefer getting a bank loan. I dislike fighting employees. I like cooking. Yeah? I like cooking. Usted no dice I like cook. El verbo like es, se puede usar con infinitive y se puede usar con gel. Pero con este no hay mayor problema. Usted puede decir I like cooking o I like to cook. Cualquiera de las dos está bien. Pero si ocupamos enjoy, por ejemplo, I enjoy cooking. No, pongámosle dance. Para cambiar de verbo. I enjoy dance. ¿Sí? Después de enjoy, yo ocupo ING. Entonces, hay verbos, hay una lista de verbos, que son un montón, ¿verdad? Después de los cuales usted tiene que ocupar un gel. Cuando usted en una oración ocupa dos verbos, el primero va normal, puede ir en presente, puede ir en 
pasado. Por ejemplo, aquí usted puede decir, when I was young, I liked cooking. ¿Sí? When I was a teenager, I enjoyed dancing. Pero usted puede ocupar el primer verbo en presente, en pasado, en futuro, en present, con, en present perfect, aún en present continuous, como usted quiera, pero el segundo verbo tiene que ir en ING, ¿verdad? Con este, con este verbo. Entonces, por eso le digo, hay, hay un listado, hay un listado de verbos que siguen que si usted tiene que ocupar dos verbos en la misma oración, el segundo verbo va con ahí. ¿Verdad? Son unos dos verbos y nada más con los que usted eh, no ocupa ni infinitivo ni lleno. La mayoría van así. ¿Verdad? Ahora, usamos el gerunds también a subject. En este caso, cuando decimos que el verbo, el gerund está funcionando como subject, usualmente está al principio de la oración. Esa es una clave. Si el verbo está al principio de la oración, en el sujeto significa que es un noun. Entonces, si usted lo sustituye por un pronoun, ese pronoun tendría que ser it. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, cuando usted dice, learning English is fun. Learning English is easy. O learning English is difficult, como usted quiera. Pero, learning es el subject, es un noun, right? Increasing ourselves is mandatory. Producing high quality goods is our target. Exercising is health. Or you say exercising is necessary. Yeah. Exercising makes me feel good. But este exercising, si yo lo sustituyo, it, it makes me feel good. It is necessary. Ok. Vaya, vámonos a más detalle. Check. Ya vimos eh, gerunds como después de preposition. Ahora tenemos gerunds after o as subjects. Building a career as an artist was one of her biggest goals. Budging a house is his dream. Living in the city center can be stressful. Smoking cigarettes is bad for you. Writing a poem was harder than he expected. Listening to music is very relaxing. Sleeping is hard when your mind is full of thoughts. Yeah? Sleeping is hard when your mind is full of thoughts. This is a feat. Yo estoy ocupando Jaron, pero este Jaron está siendo el sujeto de la oración. Aquí no tengo un G, no tengo un Chi, ¿verdad? No tengo un María, un Pedro. ¿Por qué? Porque esta es, este es una actividad y las actividades pueden ser sustituidas por it, pero no en el caso de building. Building a career, buying a house, living in the city. Quiero ver. Este es el, el único que puede ser sustituido por el sleep. It is hard when your mind is full of thoughts. Right? Sleeping. Todos los demás, mi sujeto completo. Si aquí tengo en rojo solamente el gerund, pero mi sujeto completo es... Este, ¿no? Hasta aquí llega el sujeto. ¿no? Building a career as an artist. Todo lo que va antes del verbo es el sujeto. 
pero claro, yo empiezo con el, con el, con el yerno, ¿va? Buying a house. Mi sujeto no es solo buying, mi sujeto es buying a house. Living in the city center. Todo este es mi subject. Smoking cigarettes. Porque hoy podría ser también el smoking. ¿Cómo se llama esa otra cosa? ¿Qué andan? Vape. ¿Verdad? Smoking cigarettes, smoking vapes is bad for you. Writing a poem, writing a letter, writing an email, writing a book. Entonces, este, todo esto hasta aquí lleva, llega el short. Listening to music, todo este es mi short. Okay. Listening qué? Listening to music is very relaxed. Listening to the birds singing is very relaxed. Bueno, depende, pero pajarito, escucha. Okay, any question? Any question? No question. Mm -hmm. No question, no question. No. ¿Estamos bien, Ahora retomamos. <laughs> When you use gerunds, after verbs, look likes playing video games. Después de likes, remember I told you, podemos usar el infinitive o podemos usar gerund. Look likes playing video games. I hate packing suitcases. Podemos tener eh, en este caso como un present continuo después de is. My favorite thing is to do. And my favorite thing to do is reading. ¿Verdad? Aquí no estoy diciendo I am reading. Aparenta como si fuera un present continuo, pero no. ¿Verdad? Es, siempre sigue siendo un year on after a verb. He loves telling. The story of him winning the math contest. I enjoy working. I hate cleaning. They love listening to pop or listening to K pop. Okay, la mm -hmm. Any question here? Question, question. No question. Um, no question. No question. <laughs> Check. Here I have some more examples using gerunds after prepositions. After having a shower, I waited for The tablet must be taken before getting up in the morning. I manage it by working much longer than 40 hours. <laughs> what was her reaction on hearing the news? She told the job without love. Yeah, without is a preposition. Okay. And without. Okay. I have, I remember I told you, adjectives plus preposition. You see, afraid of, angry about, good at, crazy about, disappointed about, excited about, famous for, Happy about, 
and interested in. ¿Sí? Estos son eh, como sets de adjective preposition que siempre van a ir así, juntos, ¿verdad? Fred Ross. Y ahora, eh, we complement them using the gerund. Okay, repeat after me. They are afraid of losing the match. They are afraid of losing the match. They are afraid of losing the match. Pat is angry about walking in the rain. Pat is angry Pat about. Is angry about walking in the rain. Pat is angry about walking in the rain. John is good working in the garden. John is good at working, working in, the in the garden. That girl is crazy about playing tennis. The girl is crazy is about playing, playing tennis. tennis. He's disappointed about seeing such a bad report. He's disappointed, He's disappointed about seeing such a bad report. He's he disappointed is disappointed about seeing such a bad report. We are excited about making our own film. We, we are excited, are excited about making our, our own, own film. film. Sandy <laughs> is famous for singing songs. Sandy, Sandy is famous, famous for singing, for singing songs. songs. The children are not happy about seeing a doctor. The children, the children are, not are not happy about, about seeing, seeing a, doctor. a doctor. Are you interested in writing poems? <laughs> are you are interested, you interested in, in writing poems? In writing poems. Okay. Any questions here? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Little <laughs> easy. Easy. Easy peasy. Hot. Now, let's complete. Let's complete this. Check. Complete the conversations, mini conversations, with the gerund form of the verbs. Ask, give, pay, have, provide, get, hire, and sell. So you have to use all of them, right? You have to use all the verbs to complete the sentence. Do not repeat a verb. And remember, they have to be in the adjunct form. Mm -hmm. When you're ready, you let me know so we check.
Mm -hmm. You let me know when you're ready. Teacher, the number one is do we start giving? Do we? Do we start giving to Christmas with all? Okay, we should be Letter B. I prefer paying, 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 paying uh, then to work one more with. Plus a bonus. Okay. Okay. Um, then to work one more week plus a bonus. Okay. Number two, mm -hmm. letter E is are you interested in having? New new ide ideas. New ideas for the public. Yes, I am. Letter B is and do you have a long getting getting double T? Okay, double T, double T, getting some. So, um, mm -hmm. in number three, it's um, letter E is um, pro providing. Providing salaries to employees, each month is our priority. It's our priority. Hasta ahí me quedé, teacher. I totally agree with that beside hearing new workers. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with that beside hearing. There are some hiding, but that? Yes, I'm hiding, okay. Hiding. Hiding new workers yes. has to be another one. Mm -hmm. Are you worried about asking? 
the bank. Are you worried about asking the bank for the new loan? Mm -hmm. The last is not really, I'm more concerned about selling the you new products. I'm more concerned about selling the new products. Nice. So you see, now repeat after me. Do we start giving to Christmas weeks off? Do we start giving we to start Christmas? Giving to Christmas Do weeks off. Do we start giving to Christmas weeks off? Mm -hmm. I prefer paying them to work one more week plus months. I prefer. I prefer paying them. To <laughs> one more week plus a bonus. I prefer paying than to work one more week plus a bonus. Are you interested in having new ideas for products? Are you interested, Are you interested in, in a... having new ideas for products? Are you interested in, in having new ideas for products? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Do you have? Do you have? <laughs> I love getting some. I love getting some. Providing <laughs> salaries to employees each month is our priority. Providing salaries to employees each month is our priority. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. Besides, hiring new workers has to be another. Besides, hiring new workers has to be another one. Has to be another one. Has to be another. Are you worried about asking the bank for the new loan? And Are you worried, worried about asking the bank for the new loan? Are you worried? About asking the bank for the new loan? Not really. Not really. I'm more concerned about selling the new products to pay the employees. I'm more concerned about selling the new products to pay the employees. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Any questions? Oh, no questions? No. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to practice this uh, conversation. If you notice, we are using gerunds here, mm -hmm. right? Hey, Mark, repeat. Hey, Mark, I was reading an article. Hey, Mark, I was reading an article. Oh, really? Oh, really? About what? About what? About working. About working. Some people believe it's a punishment. Some people believe it's a punishment. A punishment? A punishment? Why? Why? I really like working. I really like working. <laughs> yeah, the article compared working to being a slave. Yeah. The article comparing working to being a slave. It said, it said that employers treat workers as if they were slaves. It says that employers treat workers as if they were slaves. Well, that's something different. Well, that's something different. My boss is very kind. My boss is very kind. Perhaps. Perhaps. Per perhaps. Working is a punishment for workers who have terrible bosses. Working is a punishment for workers who have terrible bosses. Yeah. Yeah. 
it sounds funny. It sounds funny. But I agree. But I agree. I wouldn't like to have a terrible boss. I couldn't like to have a terrible boss. Now, I would like to listen to a couple of volunteers who will be my volunteers. Mm -hmm. Volunteers, volunteers. Yes. It will be well, my well, before I send you to work. Hello, me teacher. Okay, thank you. You will need one more volunteer to work with you. I need one more volunteer. Okay, Norma and Marcelo. Okay, Marcelo, go ahead. Este, este Hi, no. Marcelo. Hola, ¿qué tal, Norma? Gusto bien, escucharlo. Bien, bien, bien. Gusto saludarlo. Igualmente, Norma. De verdad, Gracias. Gusto escucharlo. I'm, I'm, I'm first. Eh, okay. Ok, ok. okay. Hey, Mark, I was reading an article. Oh, really? Uh, about what? About working. Some people believe, believe it's a punishment. A punishment? Why it really like working? Yeah, the article compares working to begin a, a slave. What? It, that, oh, <laughs> perdón, perdón, perdón. A slave, it say that employers drape workers at as if they were slave. Well, that, okay, well, uh, well, that's something different, my boss. Is very keen. Perhaps working is a punishment for workers who have terrible bosses. Yeah, it sounds funny, but I agree. Uh, teacher, agree. 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 Get to get good, uh -huh. Okay, I wouldn't like to have a ter terrible bus. Ter terrible bus. Terrible. 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 The terrible teacher. Yes. Okay. Terrible. Okay. Terrible. Teacher, excuse me. I don't see the. <laughs> You don't see the presentation. Yes. No. 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 Only Mark, terrible boss. <laughs> A ver, now. Can you see now? Yes. No, eh, yes. creo que hay que bajar más la el mouse. La... Sí. Aquí hoy sí. Um, no es que no lo, yo no lo logro ver la parte. Bueno, no sé si llega hasta Mark donde dice alterar bus, pero no sé abajo ah, no lo. Después puedo. dice no, I wouldn't either. Oh. Pero, eso se ve hasta la mitad, solo un pedacito de ah, Al otro bien. lado, lo para reversa. Lo voy a subir. O a subir, sí. Vaya. Okay. Ahí está. Okay. Okay. No, I won't, I won't 
either. I wouldn't either. Either. I wouldn't either. Excellent. Very good. Very, very good. Now, a ver. I'm going to I'm going to share just. We have only 10 minutes. I guess it will be enough time for you to do exercise. So you're going to complete. You're going to complete this exercise. It's about germs after infinitives. Okay. Gerus after infinity. So you look at the exercise. After, como es? Gerus after, after preposition. So Gerus after preposition. So you look at the exercise and you complete with the correct preposition. Yeah? No, no. Yo creo que bien lo acabamos. Vamos. Vamos a ver. Oh, mire, no tengo abierto el WhatsApp. No tengo el WhatsApp. No tengo el WhatsApp. We will do at least one part. That if we do not finish. We will do at this one. Hoy sí, ya les amo el gusto sharing, and you look at the exercise. You have, first you have the, the examples of, of prepositions, and you have a scale of, found, fun of, when you say I'm fun of, es que usted es fan. ¿Verdad? Cuando dice, yo soy fan de, 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 de no sé, de alguien. Yo soy fan de, de no sé. <ríe> Díganme el nombre de un cantante. Voy a ser irónico, de Bad Bunny, ticho. Okay. <ríe> Son bromas, ticho. <ríe> Póngale cero a Marcela, por decirlo. Cero, menos cero, menos cero. Es terrible, Marcelo. Ricardo Arjona. Para que se nos quite el sueño. Y vio mi cara, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir, Marcelo is fond of bad bad. Una de las reglas es no decir grosería. Sí, sí, pues sí, lo siento, pero es que para ver si estaban atentos a la clase. Sí, por estamos eso. atentos, ya ven. <ríe> Casi ah. me escuchan, pero está bien. ¿no? <ríe> And then you have a spread off, bored off, tired off, and proud of. Y we have another preposition, famous for, responsible for, sorry for. About, happy about, anxious about, crazy about, excited about, angry about, and sorry about. At, good at, bad at, and bad at math. Bad and bad at playing soccer, right? Angry at, excellent at. Interested in, successful in, and king of. When you say this, and king of, es que es algo que a usted le gusta mucho. ¿Sí? Vaya. Eh, creo yo que solo vamos a alcanzar a hacer el primer ejercicio por el tiempo. ¿Verdad? Solo vamos a hacer el ejercicio. Ah, 
Okay. Así es que go ahead, enter the link. Teacher, no vemos su pantalla. No, no les puedo compartir mi pantalla porque ah, es en la copia. De internet. Sí, sí. Allí okay. entren al link que les mandé okay. y, y lo vamos a ir resolviendo solos, ¿verdad? Es que aquí me, 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 me va a regañar YouTube. Así es que no. <ríe> no les puedo compartir pantalla. Pero sí lo podemos ir leyendo juntos. Acuérdense de ver cuál es la preposición que corresponde con ese adjetivo y después de completar con ING, ¿verdad? Teacher, the number one is a uh, is U U A E is famous for producing. Exactly, it's famous for producing oil. Very good. Mm -hmm. What about number two? Number two, he's good. What preposition do we use with good? In English. He's good. He's good at speaking. At. At. He's good at. At. At speaking. At speaking English. Uh -huh. He's good at speaking English. She's fun. Uh, she's fun of reading stories. Fun of reading stories. Exactly. She's fun of reading stories. Nice. Sarah is tired. Sarah is tired of making Make dinner up. every night. Uh -huh, of making dinner. Dinner every night. Mm -hmm. Sarah is tired of making dinner uh -huh. every night. Good. My brother is keen. What's the proposition for key? My brother is key. Is my brother is king on taking photo, but photos. King on or taking, yeah? on taking photos. Okay. Ahmad is anxious. What's the proposition that you need to use? About. Anxious. About, yeah. About, tell me the verb. About present, present. To, presenting. Uh -huh. Presenting his report. Exactly, about presenting his report. Very good. I'm it's, sorry. Teacher, uh, man is a noun. Ah, Ahmad. Ahmad is a noun, the person. Si, sí, it's the name of the person. Oh. Como que digamos, Mar. <laughs> right? It's the name of a person. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What preposition do you need with sorry? Sorry about. About it, then. Sorry about. Sorry about. Okay, I'm sorry about. Okay. Oh. Um, 
disturbing sorry about disturbing you and the number eight mom was really angry Fíjense que angry puede at, tomar dos preposiciones. At, at, oh. at. Exacto. En este oh. caso es at. Oh. Si está enojado con alguien, va a ser angry with. Y si está enojado por algo, va a ser angry at. Oh, entonces, angry puede tomar dos preposiciones. Bueno, depende del caso. Mom was really angry at. Lucy. Lucy. Yes, este caso de Lucy, we omit the E and then we add ING, ¿verdad? Uh, uh, mom is angry at Lucy in her wallet. My sister is keen on, on playing. playing the piano. Yes. In on playing the piano. Very clear. And the last one, my friend is interested in, in designing. designing, in designing. But my friend is interested in designing. Great, very good. Was it easy? A little bit. Yeah, okay. Nice. Bye. I'm going to call the last attendance of the day. And there we go. Tell me present. Beja Liz. Beja Beja. Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Darling. Salud, hija. Denis, Adonai. Denis. Edgar Eduardo. Edgar Eduardo. Gabriel. Present. Germán Agustín. Present, teacher. Present teacher. Carla María. Mami, te voy, te voy a ir a cara aquí. Ya está. Está hablando de cuenta. Bueno, bueno, tiene cuenta Kelly Marcela. Good night, teacher. Good night, Kelly. Marcelo Vladimir. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Mauricio Giovanni. Mauricio Giovanni. Present. Eh, Miguel Efraín. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Moisés Elías. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Norma Maritza. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Pedro Antonio, Pedro, Ronald Josué, Ronald Ronald, Sabrina Lisbeth, no Lisbeth. Present, present teacher. Teacher, present, el micrófono no ha funcionado. Pero aquí... yeah, oh, Pedro, ok, ok, ok. Ok, good night. Good night. Tamara Lisset, Tamara, Waldemar, and Walter. Present teacher, good night. Hoy es 18, se queda con los Sabrina. Well, see you Monday. Have a nice weekend. Quizá deben resolver que una mujer no good tiene... Good night. Good night. Good, night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care. Have a nice weekend. See you Monday.
Dennis. Dennis, hello. Mm -hmm. Hi, Walter. Do you have questions? No questions? <laughs> 